In this scenario, we will play in the role as the project manager, in which a solution that you're going to present to your customer should include items such as tasks, mobility, resources, uh, billable resources, planning, etc. In this scene, we will show you how to create a new job, enter timesheet for a job, approve the timesheet, create the job journal, and then invoice the customer. So the first step is to create a new job. Now, I'm logged in the home page as a uh, project manager, and you can see and notice the differences in that if we scroll down, you've got charts and information relative to what a project manager would like to see. So I've got, for example, on the right here, job actual price to budget, actual cost to budget cost, job profitability, current jobs. Scroll up, and the first step is to create a new job. So we create on new, and I'm asked, do we want to create a new job from an existing? I'll say yes. And then I'll say, well, which job do you want to copy that from? I'll enter in the description. So I'm copying it, uh, or it automatically numbers job 10, and it's a new office remodel for Bill Customer. Now it's going to ask me, which job do you want to copy that from? So I, from the ellipsis, can choose and say that this reception area model was very similar to the one we're about to undertake. And then you could choose what tasks to associate. So from the drop down, I can select individual tasks. I can select a range of tasks. Uh, but since the project manager agrees, they're almost exactly the same will cancel and leave that blank. So there are no job tasks from and to. And then I'll go ahead and copy the quantities, et cetera, and then I'm done. So I took an existing template, right? When you start a new project, I could take a existing template and then copy that over into my new project, right? So when I start a new project, I got to create the job card with integrated tasks and planning lines, and it's structured into two layers. The first layer consists uh, of the tasks, and I have to have at least one task, as you see here. And then the behind the scenes are the planning lines, and that's where I go to post the consumption to the job. And that's where I specify the, the resources, the items, and the various general ledger expenses. Next, I'm going to go ahead and create the timesheet. So this is where I can enter uh, a timesheet based on a consultant who is submitting their time. So I've got a tile here. I'll open up the timesheets just to show you that it uh, looks like Linda Martin has uh, her timesheet out here. We'll open that up. And she's going to assign that to the consulting task. So she's been advising our consulting on a particular uh, part of this project, and she goes and enters the time eight, uh, and then we could go ahead and enter the time for the other days, so Wednesday and Thursday, and then she submits it for approval, and I get the confirmation that uh, all the lines have been approved or submitted. Excuse me. I'll close that out, and that's it. Now let's assume now that my on-site consultant has submitted their time. And so I want to go ahead and, and approve the timesheet. So you'll see here in the tile, I've got one timesheet to approve. I'll open that up. And you can see here again, I'm in the manager timesheets. I look at it, looks good. I could look on the fact box on the right. Eight hours, eight hours and four, it's been submitted. I'll hit approve. And you see the status has been changed to approve. And that's the steps. Now I need to go and create the job journal. So from uh, <clears throat> right here, the shortcuts, I could just do a quick job journal. And I want to go ahead and bring in those timesheets, right? So since the time has been submitted and approved, I just want to leverage the built-in capability of the application to auto-suggest those timesheets. And it brought it in. Eight hours on the right, eight, and then another four. And then simply post those journal lines. And then I'll need to invoice the customer, right? So I can create an invoice for a job for one or more job tasks, uh, depending on where I am with the, the invoicing process and based on the date of the invoicing and the invoicing schedule. I can also create an invoice from a job planning line and indicate that all the time and the quantity of the time, resources, and the general ledger accounts that I want to invoice. 
I'll select jobs. And uh, again, here's that new office remodel and I'll select process and I want to go and create the invoice. So you can create an invoice for a job, again, for one or more tasks. Click on OK. And again, this is filtered to just this particular job. And then I'm done. And now I want to go ahead and, and post that. So I come back in here to the job. I'll select the process do the invoice credit memos, and let me go ahead and open the credit memos. Now I can select just Linda's 20 hours individual lines, or I can post all of this, and I will do that. I'll post and send all of it, and now I get all the, the tasks that are outstanding and I need to collect on it, and I close that out. And again, in that scenario, it was just to demonstrate the, the role of a project manager within Dynamics 365 Business Central. The idea was to get you understanding and knowing how they can quickly and create and manage customer projects while increasing their productivity.